good stuff. I bet. Oh. I'm going to try some a little later. Yeah. Okay, I'll save a bag for you. Okay, Welcome back, you. everybody. In today's Savvy Shopper, we are taking a stroll around ProWord Center to find out all that's going on there. Yeah, there is a lot, Trini. There's a diamond show, there's a conch blowing workshop, and it wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't it be sweet to fly to Vegas? Well, it can be. First stop at Ben Bridge, and we're speaking with Assistant Manager Jessica Powell. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for having me. Tell me about Ben Bridge. Ben Bridge is a fifth generation family run company who have been in business for over 100 years. As partners of the American Gem Society, we have built our business on lasting relationships, integrity, and trust. Perfect. That sounds great. Uh, you guys have a collection that is really beautiful, and it's associated with a fashion show. Tell me about that. So the Ashy Fashion Show is a one-day event in our store on August 19th, which is a Saturday, and we will be showcasing a variety of one-of-a-kind pieces to adorn women. You're wearing a very beautiful piece. Is that part of this collection? Yes, it is. Tell me what the inspiration behind the Ashy's collection is. Ashy's focus is wearable art. These are designed for women who aren't afraid to be bold, yet tastefully so. So during this event, we will have the opportunity to bring these pieces to life. At the event, is there any special financing that Ben Bridge will be providing? I'm glad you asked that. So on the day of the event, we will be offering the 12 months no interest with 20% down on all ashy pieces and bridal purchases. Perfect. Thank you so much for allowing us to jump in and witness a beautiful collection and good luck at the event. Thank you. Our second stop on the lawn here out in front of Pearl Ridge Center. And we're talking with Blaine Kia Kumuhula. You have a nice collection of conch shells. Yeah, these are called the trident conch shells, uh, often associated with the pukani or the conch blower. Um, it's very ancient, it's very traditional in our culture. Uh, the pukani, most notable, um, is associated with the arrival of the royal court. Uh, it's the first thing we see in a royal court where the pukani runs and heralds the sounding of the conch making sure that symbolically that something is about to take place. It is a form of communication for our ancient Hawaiians with different kinds of tones and allows us to really connect with our land, our ocean, and our heavens. But again, most notably, it is the first person that is normally associated with the royal court. First thing you see, also the first thing you hear, why is it important to perpetuate the blowing of the conch shell? Uh, well, as I mentioned, it is a way of communicating. As you can see, it's a natural shell. It comes from the ocean. We cut a hole. Uh, you can see this one is unfinished. But when you cut the hole, it really, you tighten on your lips. And that tone that comes from this beautiful shell is just amazing. It's very haunting. It's very captivating. It does grab your attention. And so this is really one of the most important parts of our history. It really is beautiful. Why is it important for you to be able to teach some of the youngsters about it? Uh, well, this is probably something that's never really been taught. The blowing of the conch does require a particular stature it requires a particular kind of skill and technique to make sure that when you sound the pool it comes out clearly that it, it really amplifies the message that you're trying to get across to the multitudes of people that if there's a king coming you better not screw up <laughs> I heard this actually as we drove up uh, no but seriously uh, Tell me about a contest. There's a contest coming up. Uh, there's a contest coming up for Aloha Festivals. It's the Keiki Ho'olaule'a here at Pearl Ridge. It's going to be happening on September 16th. But uh, rewind a little bit. On August 19th, we're going to hold two wonderful workshops to try and demonstrate to our youngsters as well as our adults about the significance of the pukani or the blowing of the conch. It really is a wonderful thing to be a part of. You have a youngster here that can bl come on in. So normally when we blow the conch shell, it's either the three blow or four blow. Sometimes it's to the ocean, the land, and the heavens. Okay. So he's going to give you a nice blow. Go he's going to arch his head back and get that, that conch going upward. He'll take a deep breath. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> Thank you so much, Blaine, for uh, sure. teaching us a little bit about this. And again, Correct. all the information of what you're talking about, the contest and the workshop, all going to be on our website on kh12.com. Thank you so much awesome. for being with us. Mahalo. Thank Aloha. you, bud. Good job. Here at Cookie Corner, we're talking about their 35th anniversary and the Red Cup sweepstakes. And tell us all about it is Leia Lau. Thank you so much for being with us on Living in Wait. Thank you for being here with us. Um, tell me about it. Okay, so with our Red Cup celebration, 
Uh, inside of each of our large bite-sized cups, we have a scratch and win game piece. Mm -hmm. And with those game pieces, every game piece is a winner. And you just scratch the gold piece off and then you could win uh, free cookies, giveaways, you could get tickets to the water park, or we're also giving away three um, Vegas trips, and yeah, that's it. That's a big deal, <laughs> and that's great that everyone's a winner. Yes, every cup is a winner. That's perfect. Yes. Tell me a little bit about how Cookie Corner got started. Okay, so um, Cookie Corner started 35 years ago, opened our first store in Pioneer Plaza in 1982. Um, we're still owned by the same two guys uh, who graduated from Iolani um, that started the company and um, they just had four or five of the original size of soft and chewy cookies. Uh, instead of those four or five cookies, now we have over 80 products you can um, choose from when you come into their store. We also have 14 locations around Oahu. Tell me about your favorite and maybe the most popular cookie. Our most popular cookie is a chocolate chip. Of course, everybody loves chocolate chips, soft and chewy, just like Grandma used to make. Um, but my personal favorite is the oatmeal chocolate chip. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Chocolate chip. You also have one that's called the bambucha. Yes, the bambucha. It's our limited time cookie. It's a huge cookie. <laughs> There's Mauna Loa McNutt chocolate chips and coconut inside. And it's covered right in the middle with a chocolate-covered macadamia nut candy. Thank you for uh, being on Living in the Wait. Don't forget the red cup sweepstakes, and the bambucha is not going to be around for much longer, so come on in and enjoy it. Yes, come soon. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Yeah. It's, a, it's uh, a big cookie. Oh, bambucha has got my cookie. name on it. <laughs> <laughs> so they're celebrating the 35th anniversary. 35th anniversary, wow. and they're doing it in style. Also, I want to applaud that young uh, boy who did the conch shell, because that is hard to do. No, actually, uh, you don't see in this story me trying it. <laughs> but you can see it on Pearl Ridge's Instagram posts, uh, and it was... Did you do it? I thought for sure I'd get it. Blaine, however, Kumuhula Blaine yes. Kia, amazing. I didn't, there's some things that he did. He's been doing it a little bit longer yeah, than you. Yeah, no. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, mine sounded like a dying elephant. Oh, no. But it is hard, so yeah. good for that for that. I tried. <laughs> All right, coming enough. up on Living It Away, we're heading back to Hawaii's kitchen. After the break, we're going to check in with Chef James from the Made in Hawaii Festival and learn about the festival's big chili cook-off.